hello guys in today's tutorial i'll be showing you guys how to recreate this scene from caspian report youtube video titled france secretly owns 14 countries and i've made another tutorial from this particular video about a different scene so if you want to see that i'll link that in the description below so let's get into it so before we go into the tutorial i'd like to explain something so if you've been following my channel you would have noticed that it's been a while since i uploaded on my channel and it's because the dell sps 15 my laptop that i've been using kind of crashed on me and it kept crashing and stopped working after a while and after spending a lot of money trying to fix it it didn't work so i just finally decided to dump it and just move on but because i didn't want my channel to stay dormant for a long while and just not upload anything i decided to borrow my friend's laptop which is kind of slow just to maybe put out a quick tutorial like this so until i save up to get a new laptop or be borrow money to get a new laptop so if you enjoy videos like this or if you enjoy my tutorials please like and subscribe and if you want to support me you can do that on buy me a coffee or on patreon or if you prefer things like maybe cryptocurrency i will appreciate that and i will just chat me up and i'll drop the link or my wallet so they can support me so thank you and let's get into the tutorial so the first thing we're going to do is to animate the currencies so i'm going to add go down to new then add a new solid so this will be a gray dark background or a dark gray background just put that there Leave it. so i've already imported some of the assets i'll be using so i have this congo and this senegal lease currency here so i'm just going to drag them into the time like this then i'm quickly going to resize them especially the congo notes so that it fits with this one so i'm just going to do that quickly So once you're done resizing, just bring up the position for the top currency and slide it to the right like this. Just slide it off the screen just a little bit like this and leave it there. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to add a new null layer. So I'm just going to add a new null layer. So I'm going to select both of these layers here, then parent them to the null layer. So I'm going to bring up the position of our null layer here then drag this down like this just off the screen like this then set a keyframe there then next i'm going to go like one second forward then bring up the currencies like then go forward like one second and 20 frames forward something like so then set another keyframe there just to hold that then go forward like two seconds and 15 frames forward or i'll just move this back a bit so i'll move this back a bit you can adjust it as you want then this will be two seconds and 15 frames forward or 10 frames forward we can adjust this later and i'll slide so that the second currency comes into focus like this and it stays in the middle like this so this is okay then i'm going to go forward a bit like this then set another keyframe then i'm also going to bring up the s root the scale property here like this then after setting the keyframe for the scale property i'm going to go forward like three seconds and maybe more just like this here then I'm going to scale it down to around maybe 55. Just going to scale it down to 55. Then also move this to the middle. Like this. Then once you've done that, select all the position keyframe. Or just select everything first. Then make it easy ease. Then next I'll go, I'll select only the position keyframes. And then go down to the graph editor select everything then use this angle here to adjust it like this like this then let's play this back for you to see so you can maybe adjust the handle a bit to the right again then also go back and do the same thing for the scale value
So next we'll move forward to animating the text. So for the text, I'm just going to, so we're already on, uh, click here for your text, then select where you want your text to be. You can, we can readjust that later. So I already have the text I want to copy out. So I'm just going to paste this here, Frank or off. So the one I copy and pasted was of the financial community of Africa. So I'm also going to paste this other word there. This Frank. I don't know why it's not typing out. So I'm just going to type it out myself. But I want this to be on a separate layer. And I'll make sure they are both aligned on, on the same row. So the next thing we're going to do is to type in the letter CFA. So CFA, all three will be in on different layers. So let's quickly do that. So once you're done typing out the letters, we'll align each of them to each two. F will be here, C will be here, and A will be in Africa. So that's what we'll do. So make sure you align them properly. So once you're done aligning the text or the letters we just created here, so next thing I'm just going to hide some of this our uh, bank notes here so that it doesn't interrupt with what you have. Then for this layer here, for all of the text layer, I'm just going to highlight all of them, then move them to like three seconds forward because that's where they will start beginning to appear from. So. I'll just go forward here. So for this text here of this of the financial community of Africa, I'm going to bring up the, so I'm just going to go down to three seconds, 10 seconds forward like this. First, let me click all of them and move the timeline. I'll move the timeline close to it like this. So at this point, for this first layer here, which is of the financial community of Africa, I'm going to bring up the opacity, the opacity keyframe, then set a keyframe here, then go forward a bit, like three seconds and 25, or let's just say 20, and make it and reduce it to down to zero. And even bring it further depends on how you want to customize it then for the frank i'll bring up the position go down to the middle of this just where it starts animating from set a set a keyframe there then go further like this then move it to the side so once you've moved the frank to the right, the next thing we need to do is rearrange the CFA so that it appears in that order, CFA. So I'll quickly do that. So finally, after that, the next thing we need to do is just I'll turn back on these layers that I shied away and you can just pre-comp everything. Maybe pre-comp everything except for the dark gray background. I'm just going to pre-compose that. So once you pre-comp that, you can make that 3D layer and also go back into your timeline and also make everything 3D. So now you can just bring up the rotation of this and add some few 3D, 3D animations just to make your animation much more dynamic and so. So because my laptop is like I 